with their surgical systems and robotic instruments, Intuitive Surgical could change the game for minimal invasive care. As of today, the Da Vinci systems did already perform over 12 million procedures with great success. They did not only shorten the recovery time of the patients, but could also deliver impressive returns to their shareholders over the last 20 years. In the upcoming report for 2023, they again expect a growth of 22% compared to the last fiscal year of 2022. Their expectation is that this growth will barely slow down in the next years and with the market still being quite young, there is still ample room to grow. But their competitors, especially in the second biggest market of China, are not idle and the current high valuation doesn't give much room for error, might make an investment risky. In this video, we will dig into the business models and the markets of Intuitive Surgical, analyze the strategic position by doing a Portis by Forces analysis and have a look at the latest financial statements to see how they are doing. We will also check the valuation and do a discounted cash flow calculation. In the end, we will see if Intuitive Surgical is a good long-term investment for us or not. My name is Florian, this is Cashflow Maniac, let's jump right in. Intuitive Surgical has the ticker symbol of ISRG on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. They are working in the healthcare equipment manufacturing sector and were founded in 1995. They have around 12,000 employees at the moment and their headquarter sits in Sunnyvale, California. Their market cap sits at around 130 billion US dollars at the moment. Intuitive Surgical is the manufacturer and producer of surgical robots and instruments. The main product is the Da Vinci robot that comes in different configurations and different sizes for different um, ports, for example, single port or four port surgeries. This is mainly used for minimal invasive surgery, where it is very important to have a very precise control in very narrow surgical spaces. These machines are highly versatile, have a high performance and different types of instruments can be attached to each of these ports for different kinds of surgeries or different kinds of, um, of procedures. These robots can help to lower the risks of such surgeries and lower the recovery times in the end. But Intuitive is not only preparing these robots itself, but they are also preparing the whole ecosystem around them, like training software or integrated data sets that help the doctors to improve the care and the efficiency of these surgeries. The Da Vinci has already very good track record with over 12 million procedures already performed as of today. And it has also been peer reviewed in more than 34,000 scientific articles. The biggest market for intuitive surgical is the United States followed by Europe and Asia. Actually, the second biggest market is the Chinese market where they are also quite successful. We can also see that their installed machines here are growing on a low double digit CAGR year over year. And here in the last fiscal year, for example, it grew of around 14%. What is also very nice to see is that the majority of the revenue of Intuitive is recurring revenue. This recurring revenue comes from the instruments that are attached to the robot and that has to re be replaced for each procedure. Intuitive is not only selling these robots, but they also have a lease model available. So this also comes to the recurring revenue from the hospitals that are not purchasing the machines itself, but that are rather leasing them from Intuitive. Over the last couple of years, Intuitive could even increase the portion of the recurring revenue compared to the non-recurring re revenue. If we see from um, 2016, the recurring part made up around 70% and today it is even more than 80%. So this is also very nice to see as this makes the revenue very predictable without many surprises on a year over year basis. The market for surgical and medical robots is still a very young market. And we can see, for example, Grand View Research expects a compounded annual growth rate of around 10% until 2030. And if we look at different market research, for example, APNA Consulting, they already expect a CAGR of almost 16% until 2028. And if you scroll down a little bit and look at the different seg segments within this surgical robotic market, we can see that the different segments are actually expected to growing very evenly. And Intuitive Surgical is actually active in all of these markets, except the Neurosurgical market. So definitely we are in the Securia trend right now. And the Securia trend is, from my opinion, just starting. 
I already mentioned before that China is the second biggest market for intuitive surgical. And if we look at the installed bases and the annual surgery volumes only in China, we can see that since 2018, both have increased very significantly, almost on an exponential basis. Unfortunately, that does not necessarily mean that intuitive can benefit from this trend. And if we look at this report, for example, we can see that first of all, they expect that the China market will grow with a 36% CAGR until 2013. So this is more than double the global CAGR for the, for the same machines in the same time frame. But they also think that mostly domestic players are pushing for this market. And here they mention specifically Microport, for example, that is just working on the FDA clearance for the Microport MedBot. And this bot can basically do almost the same operation and procedures that um, the Da Vinci system can do, but it costs around 30% less. So here it is really questionable how strong intuitive can be in China and in the general Asia market over the next couple of years. I definitely don't think that they can grow with the same huge CAGR that is expected for, the, for this market. When we look at the strategic position of intuitive surgical, first of all, I think that the threat of new entrants in this area is quite low. There is many know-how necessary to enter this area and there are high regulatory and also capex barriers to enter this. So this makes it very difficult for new players to enter this market. The threat of substitutes I would estimate as medium. First of all, Intuitive Surgical is the market leader for this minimal invasive surgeries at the moment. They have a, a, a very strong market position and their training and certification program definitely poses an advantage here and makes it more difficult to switch to other, um, other machines. But there are still the conventional methods like manual surgeries also available and they are usually cheaper and they can pose a good alternative depending on the kind of, of surgery. The competitive rivalry in this area is quite high. First of all, we already saw the huge list of different players that are trying to push into this market. And these are not small players. These are huge companies with big budgets and they are in most cases, they already have no know-how in the medical space and in the robotic space. So they definitely have a chance to enter this market. As this is also quite a young market, there is still a significant risk of any new technologies that might disrupt the whole market in the end. As a market leader and with their training and certification programs, Intuitive has quite a good position here, but still, the competitive rivalry is very high in this area. The bargaining power of the customers is quite low. At the moment, there are not so many alternatives available. And if you have chosen um, to use the intuitive robots once, you're basically locked into their system. The switching costs are quite high, so it's not so easy to, to choose another competitor in this case. Their customers are, huge, are usually big hospitals with a huge budget that are focusing on premium care. And for this premium care, the, the, the customers, the patients are also willing to pay a bit more. The bargaining power of their suppliers, on the other hand, I would estimate as medium to high. Intuitive uses very special equipment, very special instruments and also very special software and so to work with their programs. So it is not easy to, to change the suppliers. There are not so many suppliers available. So each of their suppliers definitely has some pricing and bargaining power against Intuitive here. So overall, I would estimate that their strategic position and their mode is around medium. It's not too high. They definitely have some threats. But as a market leader with their designated software and the ecosystem around their, um, their robots, it is also not so easy to replace them. If you do like the video so far, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. It would help me out a lot. Also, if you have any specific requests or any companies that I should analyze next, please let me know down in the comment section. Before we jump into the financial details of Intuitive Surgical in a second, let's see how they could perform against the S&P 500 over the last couple of years. In the last year, we can see that they could easily outperform the S&P 500 on a total return basis. When we look at the performance of the last five years, 
Intuitive and the S&P 500 have almost been on par, but here we can see that Intuitive did fluctuate quite a bit more compared to the S&P 500. So it had a quite high volatility here. And over the last 10 years, we can see a clear outperformance of Intuitive against the S&P 500. Again, we can also see that the fluctuation and the volatility was much, much higher compared to the S&P 500. So please keep this in mind before investing in the Intuitive. There is definitely the possibility of a severe decline of the stock, depending on the time in the market. The income statement of Intuitive shows a very nice trend. Here we can see that all metrics, sales, profit and income did increase in the last years and the expectation for the next years is also that there is a quite significant increase on a year over year basis. The operating profit and the net income is fluctuating a bit more compared to the sales numbers. But still, here we can also see a very nice uptrend. The net margin and operating margin did decrease a little bit in the last years, but they are also on a quite stable level and they are also still on a very high level. When we look at the balance sheet, we can see first of all that there is no leverage. Intuitive Surgical doesn't have any debt on the balance sheet. This is great to see again. And we can also see that the EBITDA is also increasing on a year over year basis. The same is true if you look at the free cash flow and the revenue of Intuitive. Here we can also see there is a very nice upwards trend for both of these metrics um, on a 10 year basis. There have been some outliers, but in general, the uptrend is very nice and very stable. One thing that I don't like so much and that I want to point out, point out here is the amount of stock based compensation compared to the free cash flow. And if we chart this against each other, we can see that especially since 2018, 2019, the stock based compensation has increased very significantly compared to the free cash flow. And actually it has increased much quicker than the free cash flow ratio. Right now, the stock based comp compensation sits at around 40% of the free cash flow. And this is definitely a worrying trend and it cannot continue like this. So this is a trend that I don't like to see in the companies that I invest in. And I think the management of Intuitive doesn't do a very good job to, to manage this in this case. When we sum this up by using my checklist, first of all, we can see that the revenue growth on the five year CAG is at around 40%, which is more than double than my threshold. So definitely green checkbox here. The net income growth also set on a 13.5% CAGR in the last five years. That is also very good growth and definitely sits about my threshold of 10% here. And the same is actually true for the free cash flow growth. In all of these cases, the year over year value is a little bit lower compared to the five year CAGR. So the growth trend has definitely slowed down recently a little bit, but it still sits on a very high level. Nothing to worry about at the moment. The free cash flow yield sits at 1% only at the moment. This is a bit lower than what I would like to see. So yellow checkbox here for me. We already established that Intuitive doesn't have any debt in the balance sheet at the moment. So very clean balance sheet, definitely a green checkbox for me. They don't pay any dividend at the moment. So let's just leave out the dividend uh, checkbox here. And the margins have been roughly stable over the last five years. So also again, a green checkbox for me. In just a minute, we'll come to the valuation, discounted cash flow calculation and the conclusion of our analysis. But before that, let's have a small look at the preliminary results of their fourth quarter and the full year 2023 results that they just announced last, year, uh, last week. Actually, by next week, they will re release the official full year report. But this estimation should already give quite an accurate estimation and I don't expect the numbers to, to change very much anymore. So here we can see for the full year of 2023, the procedures with the Da Vinci systems grew of around 22%. The surgical system sales in 2023 increased of 8% compared to 2022. And the revenue over the whole year increased of around 14 percent compared to 2022. So the growth numbers are still intact. The company is definitely still benefiting from this securely trend. And actually, if we look at these numbers, Intuitive could outperform the, mark, the overall market trend by quite a margin. So as of today, especially the Da Vinci systems are still very successful 
and the revenue of the company is also increasing on a low double digit basis. The valuation of Intuitive doesn't look so nice unfortunately. Here we can see the PE gap ratio in orange, the price to cash flow multiple in blue and the EV to EBITDA ratio in pink. And I plotted these numbers for the last five years. And here we can actually see that most of these numbers, especially the PE and the price to cash flow ratio, are sitting at the very high end of their five year range. And also the EV to EBITDA ratio, even though it doesn't sit at the very top, it's rather on the high end of their five year range. With the growth numbers that we just saw from Intuitive, we cannot expect them to be very cheap. But this high valuation doesn't reflect the competitive situation at the moment and the increased global headwind, so to say. So for me, this valuation looks like this smooth sales trend and smooth growth trend will also continue over the next um, 10 to 15 years, which I think will be very tough for Intuitive to do. And I think that the current risks are not priced in at this level right now. The same is actually true when we look at my fair value calculation. And I plugged in the average growth numbers from the last years here. And we can see that the average fair value with the current numbers and without including my margin of safety sits at around 240 US dollars at the moment. With my margin of safety, we are sitting rather at 220 US dollars right now. And compared to the current stock price of 775, this is quite a bit lower. Even if you think that these numbers are too low and the growth of Intuitive will pick up again, I'm estimating the current growth numbers a little bit higher here. We are still far away from the current stock price. So even though Intuitive looks like a great company, the stock seems very overvalued right now. With their Da Vinci robots, Intuitive did start the robotic revolution in the surgical space more than 20 years ago. Today, they already have a huge know-how and many patterns in the space, which makes them a clear leader in this field and also led to a remarkable performance of the Intuitive stock over the last 10 years. This did not go unnoticed though and companies like Johnson & Johnson and Medtronics are trying to catch a piece of this cake. Especially in China, the local competition is fighting for market shares and their technology is not far behind Intuitive's. Although Intuitive still does have some advantages here. Therefore, to me it's a little bit questionable if Intuitive can keep the mode they have carved over the last couple of years for themselves and still stay ahead of the competition. The financials of the company are good with great growth numbers and a very clean balance sheet. But what is worrying me a little bit is the very high amount of stock based compensation that currently sits at 40% of their free cash flow and has risen severely over the last five years. This is definitely a trend that I don't like to see that is worrying me a little bit and I'll definitely keep an eye out on this. The high valuation and the multiples do not seem to reflect the mounting competition and the current stock price. It's way above my calculated fair value. So for me, this valuation doesn't seem to reflect all the current risks and therefore I not invest in intuitive for the time being. But if you still do like to invest in this field, next week I'll analyze another company that is also working very close with intuitive and had even better growth numbers recently. The valuation of this company also is much cheaper, so stay tuned if you like to learn of the possible alternative. That being said, if you did like this video, please consider smashing the like and subscribe button. Also, please let me know down in the comment section what you think of Intuitive Surgicals as an investment. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you next week.